Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, alright. How cool is that? Okay, so I'm down here uh, with, with Mike Hall. I'm down on my knees here. Um, and uh, and I was talking to Mike after an interview I just did with him, and he was giving me a little tour of his office because his office is just packed with things that you know I, I wanted to look at and play with and, and, and just see. And I mean, seriously, there's just stuff everywhere. And one gadget in particular kind of caught my eye, and I could not leave without you know getting this on camera and ha and having Mike talk about it a little bit. So so it's this whole collection of, of doodads here, you know. Can we even see this? Yeah, there we go. So we got this thing with an antenna. Um, we've got uh, we got this keyboard here. We got this uh, this device, this little screen. So, so tell us about this stuff here, Mike. Okay. So we're coming up to the the launch of C6. And, uh, <laughs> My head will just pop above the frame there. Yeah. Every so often, <laughs> coming up and down. It's like story time. Yeah. Um, so I'm currently building some demos, which will be shown during the keynote for um, C6 and XP Embedded uh -huh. for, the, for the launch. And um, one of the demos that I'm I'm going to show is a custom image of C6 showing a, a new, very specific feature that's been added to CE6. Now, this feature's been around with Windows Mobile for a while. It's called CellCore, but it's going to be a new feature in CE6. Now, CellCore is, in effect, an abstraction layer between APIs at the application layer and underlying uh, CellCore technologies underneath. So, in this case, the little doodad, I think you called it, <laughs> that you held yeah. up. This is a, a GSM, GPRS, um, developer kit. There's a SIM card plugged into the front. Uh, these are about $200, I think, uh, for, a, for a developer kit. Uh, this has got a serial port hanging out the back. The serial port connects to this kind of silver black box here. Okay. Uh, this is known as an iCop eBox 2300. This is a 200 MHz x86 uh, box that has um, 128 mega RAM. It's got a 200 MHz processor, uh, USB ports, serial, uh, networking, um, what else has it got? Uh, audio, uh, those, those kind of things. It's like a little computer in a little tiny box. Yeah, yeah, but this boots and runs CE. So we've, we have a, a CE6 BSP or board support package. Board support package is the collection of device drivers that are needed to support a piece of hardware. So that means using the CE6 development tools, I can configure an operating system image that boots and runs on this guy, which is currently being displayed on the screen here. Where, where's the right. image stored, the, the OS? I mean, where is it? Is it is it on this USB stick, or is it in? No. Uh, is it on a chip somewhere? Or what well, is it? at the moment, I've got this guy configured to have um, a bootloader in Flash. So when I power this guy up, mm -hmm. the bootloader runs. And the bootloader sends a boot request onto the network, asking for an operating system to be downloaded. Um, I've actually downloaded an operating system image from a PC that you probably can't see over here. Okay. Uh, just on, on our right hand side, my right hand side. Um, so that downloaded over the network into RAM. So the operating system is running in RAM down on this guy. But I could easily, this guy has got Flash on board, so I could put that operating system image in that Flash okay. and have that operating system boot from Flash as well. Right. Um, the reason why there's a USB key sticking out the front is not to store the operating system image, but Typically with an electronic picture frame, this is what we're building here, an electronic picture frame. Uh, there are two very common types of electronic picture frame today. One that either supports USB keys or SD cards. So if you want to send a picture of your pet, dog, family, vacation, whatever, to your parents, grandparents, sister, girlfriend, whatever, then you would put the photos on the, on the card, put it in an envelope, <laughs> send it away, wait two weeks, and then get the phone call from them telling you how nice your pet, dog, car, whatever was. Or they was, couldn't right? figure out what to do with the car or they didn't know what they were doing. Right, right. Yeah. So the second type of picture frame is a picture frame that typically has networking. Mm -hmm. And that can either be hardwired Ethernet, and in fact I've got an Ethernet cable hanging out the back of this guy simply because I've downloaded the operating system over that. Um, or wireless networking. But that assumes, of course, that you've got a home network. And most of the people that you would probably want to send a picture frame to, your parents, grandparents, probably don't have a home network. Anyway, yeah, my, my my grandparents, for example, just my grandparents are you know they're they're pretty tech savvy, but they don't have uh, a DSL or cable. They just got a dial-up, you know. Right. Uh, so they're not going to go out and they're not going to network their entire home on dial-up. Sure. Know, they're just not going to do it. Sure. So, so what I've built here, uh, since E6 now supports cell core, uh, I've built a C6 operating system image that uses a Compact Framework 2.0 application as its shell. So when you boot it up, it boots directly into this application. Um, for a real electronic picture frame, you probably wouldn't have a keyboard as such. Right. You might just have some buttons on the front of the panel or on, on the side of the panel to control the images or whatever else. 
but in this case, I can use the keyboard to bring up a menu. Okay, and I have to get the camera bring it down here. Okay, two quote. Cool. So I've got a menu. This is just a placeholder kind of boot screen. I'm going to replace that probably over the weekend. But you can see I have the ability to pull photos from a memory card. And that memory card, of course, is going to be that USB stick that's sticking out the front of the box here. Okay. Right. Um, I could also pull photos from PCs across the network, uh, but there's nothing connected right now. Or the most interesting menu item here is photos on the web. And mm. what I'm what I'm doing here is using this in for a cell core device that's set over here connected on this serial connection to connect to the web and this is simply at the application level using RAS dial APIs. Okay. Pretty simple. And then once I've got a connection I can of course then consume data from whatever website I want to go to. So in this case I'm consuming uh, MSN Live Spaces photos by pulling down an RSS feed pulling out the images from the feed and then pulling down the images and displaying them. Can you actually do that? I mean, does this work? Oh, it, it totally works. Keep okay. it on the screen <laughs> right, here. Okay. Um, or at least, <laughs> since we're live on camera, we'll yeah, of find course out whether work. this yeah, works. That's the way demos are. Okay. okay. So I can go to USB disk. This is USB disk. Uh -huh. right. um, and I've got three folders on the disk. MDC, Sky, and Landscapes. So I can, uh, for MDC, step across onto this picture. And this is a picture from last year's MDC keynote and you can see uh, myself and Todd Warren uh, up on stage from MEDC and Todd's, as part of a, a Windows Embedded for Point of Service demo, is buying some interesting looking uh, <laughs> gar garment. Um, uh, I can of course step down onto Sky and this again is pulling from USB disk on key and I can step across and get a hold of an image here and you can see the images being displayed. If I hit enter again on the keyboard it takes the uh, should take the menu away, so I get the full screen. Right? Okay. And which, what did you write this whole application in? This is a C sharp, C sharp. Okay. Very cool. Right. So I can bring up the menu um, again. The spacebar brings up the menu. I can go down to Photos on the Web. Uh, again, hit Enter. Uh, photos from Windows Live. Hit Enter again. Now, this is really quick because I've got a web server exposed on here, which gives me the ability through a PC on the home network to configure which feeds I want to to go and get. Okay. And I've got a friendly name associated with them, which you see here. So at the moment okay. we haven't connected anything to to the web, right? Um, so I can come down to, let's say, Jonathan, hit return, and this is when we make our connection. So this is, is this happening over the cell connection right now? Yes, so over it's, the cell it's, connection. It's going out over the doodad. Yep. And, uh, and then I come down there. and it pulls down thumbnails of the images. So that actually just pulled those photos down from... Uh, 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 from an MSN space? Yes. Wow. Okay. And then, of course, I can step in and take a look at the image. So you could put this thing together, and you could you could send it out. You could you could set you know one of your family members up with this thing, and instead of them having to deal with going out and getting DSL or getting a cable modem or whatever, they could just stick a SIM disk into the into the doohickey, which of course would probably be integrated ultimately with one of these devices over here. Yes. You know, to be yeah, yeah. you yeah. know, this is all this is all just kind of Mike just having fun um, and making stuff up as he goes along. But but uh, but they could uh, uh, you know go out and get your photos as you take them, pretty much if they wanted to, as Absolutely. you upload them to your yeah. uh, MSN Spaces account. Absolutely, that just blows my mind. Um, so you've got that. Just bring up another photo just for fun, okay. just for kicks. So I'll, I'll step across, and there we go. Another photo. That's just amazing. How cool is that? That's that's actually really. I mean, like, I want I, I want to buy this from you. Um, I this exact. I want this exact model. I want this thing right here. Sure. Because I just left home. You uh -huh. know, I just moved away from Portland, uh -huh. and you know, I can. My mom has been calling me every single day, and I figure if I can just like take photos and everything, um, and set her up with one of these guys here, one of these gadgets, then maybe you know I can cut down on my my uh, cell phone costs. Um, just because she'll just go grab photos of me instead of having to call me every single day. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. six times. Um, so this is this is really a proof of concept showing you how a combination of CE6 and Cellcore can work together to do something interesting. Very but cool. There's, there's no reason why this couldn't be you know, commercialized as a real electronic picture frame grabbing images. I, I would totally buy this. Right. I really would. And that's not, I mean, I know that I'm biased and I work for Microsoft and I love Windows Mobile and XP Embedded and, and Windows CE and all that kind of stuff. All the gadgets, you know. But still, honestly, I would shell out 
box for this. In fact, as soon as I turn the camera off, we're going to start negotiating. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, just for the different components. Yeah, well, very, very good. Um, well, actually, somebody could go out pretty much and build this themselves now, couldn't they? I mean, they could just... They could, buy the different, they could buy the different components. After and, uh, November 1st, they absolutely could. November 1st is the launch day for CE6. So that's really neat. On November 1st, they could actually download the CE6 evaluation kit and start playing. So part of the power of Windows CE is that even if this device weren't for sale at, you know, Sharper Image or wherever you get it, that's the kind of place I'd think of buying this, mm -hmm. um, or Brookstone, uh, uh, you, you could, could just build, build it yourself. yourself. Yep. That is so cool. All right. Okay. All right. Well, Okay. <laughs> Well, I decided to show everybody that. Um, I just thought it was too ridiculously neat to, to, to just, you know, to get out of here without um, without getting this uh, demo from Mike. Okay. Um, that so is fabulous. Now it's time right. to get your wallet out. Yeah. All right. So uh, thank you again for that interview, sure. Mike, and, uh, and for that demo. And uh, I'll be back later for, you know, even more uh, CE XP embedded and uh, Windows Mobile goodness. Fantastic. Thank you. Great. Thanks for coming over. Bye.